Hey everyone, we're going to determine whether the series is absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent, or divergent. We're going to use the ratio test given here to find the limit to see if it's uh, absolutely convergent, it's going to be less than 1. If it's um, divergent, it's going to be greater than 1. So I'm going to rewrite um, this and condense it to the sum. Uh, n equals 1 to infinity, and it's going to be this piece right here. This is your sum. So I'm just condensing this a little bit. And we're going to have 1 times 3 times 5 times dot, 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 times 2n uh, minus 1 uh, divided by um, 2n minus 1 factorial. Now, we're going to use this formula here and take the limit as n um, approaches infinity. So, for the numerator, we're going to get a sub n plus 1. So, we're going to, everywhere there's an n, you're going to put n plus 1. So, this is going to change to negative uh, 1 to the power of just n, because you put uh, n plus 1 minus 1 here. So that's just going to give you n. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and continue writing times 1 times 3 times 5 times dot 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 times um, now this is going to be 2n minus 1 and then the next term would be 2n uh, plus 1 minus 1. And real quick, this is going to end up being 2n plus 1. Alright, in the denominator, we're going to get the same thing. This is going to end up being 2n um, plus 1 minus 1 factorial, which just gives us this. 2n plus 1 factorial. Now we have to do this part. Divide by this, which means we're going to multiply by this reciprocal. So this is going to be times, um, and I'm going to be running out of room here, so I'm going to write it down here. So this is going to be times, and you're going to write uh, the reciprocal of this. So the numerator is going to be 2n minus 1 factorial divided by um, negative 1 to the n minus 1 power times 1 times 3 times 5 times dot 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 times 2n minus 1. Alright, now, now that you have that, things are going to reduce out and before we uh, move on to the next slide, when you divide these two this is just going to be uh, negative 1 to the nth minus n plus 1. So that's just going to end up being uh, negative 1 um, to the first power. So let's rewrite this as simplifying the limit as n approaches infinity, absolute value of negative 1, and then we're going to have 2n plus 1 times n minus 1 factorial divided by 2n plus 1 and then we have to keep going down uh, keep subtracting 1 2n and then we have 2n minus 1 factorial so I'm going to go back and what's happening is these are canceling out here so th this stuff is all canceling out and then we're just expanding this out a little bit. Now they still can cancel out. So what happens is these two cancel and these two cancel. So what we're going to get is the limit as n approaches infinity of, and you take the absolute value of negative 1, you get 1 divided by 2n. Now as we apply the limit, this is going to go off to 0, which is less than 1. So this is absolutely 
convergent. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.